Oke okay guys, welcome back with me David Cook ID. Jadi hari ini episode spesial buat Fit Vlog. Hari ini kita mau ke tempat di mana aku bertumbuh, berkembang, belajar, bekerja semuanya pokoknya kan. Kita mau ke Amus Gourmet Restaurant. Ya guys, ikuti aja perjalanan aku hari ini. Oke okay guys, sekarang kita udah ada di Amus Gourmet Restaurant. Oke, okay, bentar lagi kita langsung bertemu sama Chef Jills dan kita akan ngobrol-ngobrol tentang topik yang spesial banget buat episode kali ini. Oke okay guys, ini dia Chef Jills Max. Hai David. Hello Chef. How are you? Apa kabar? I'm good and you? Good good. Uh, so what? are we doing today? <laughs> so today we're gonna make the Amuse 9 Plus uh, burger together. So we have a nice piece of uh, 9 Plus uh, Wagyu beef. The actual uh, beef patty by using this beef. Oh. Why are we using uh, 9 Plus uh, Wagyu beef? Because yeah, Amuse is all about the quality and uh, of the product. Yeah, So we choose uh, uh, the top grade uh, beef. Uh, to make a very uh, exclusive and uh, nice uh, tasting uh, burger. Amazing. <laughs> so the Wagyu beef combined with our uh, brioche bread and our own uh, homemade sauces, everything is homemade, so we'll give a very, very nice uh, burger. So now I'm going to show you how to make uh, the beef patty. So we have Queen. this nice uh, piece of Wagyu beef. So all this can go in because we can put it through the meat grinder anyhow. So you can see the nice marbling of the Wagyu beef. And that's why actually the interesting part because for to make a good burger we need a nice uh, mix of, of uh, meat and of course some fat to give the juiciness. And the good, piece, the good part of the Wagyu 9 plus like that, we don't have to add in extra fat. Because the meat has already the marbling, the fat content is already there. So we don't have to add be, uh, beef fat from another piece of beef or from another animal. It's all from the same animal in there. And that's what will make the, beef, the burger stay very juicy. Because if you use just a regular uh, beef and then you add additional fat, actually the fat that you add inside will not combine in the meat like this one. So when you cook it, it will melt out. So first of all, your burger will shrink a lot, your patty. And of course the juicy is not the same. That's why you will see the difference when we cook it later. There's a big difference. So when we have our, our burger patty, the juice stays inside. Even when it's already cooked. Usually when you buy a burger somewhere, the actual patty, when you buy it inside, even if it's tasty, the patty is always dry inside. But here you will see it will stay really nice and juicy because we have this marbling, the fat inside the beef. Yeah? And actually, the, the secret of this beautiful uh, beef burger we will make today is only this, a nice piece of beef. Because in the patty, there is nothing else we put inside. We'll see, there's only beef. Nine plus beef. Only beef. That's it. No seasoning. After when we cook, we put salt and pepper oh. only on top, just like a steak. Oh. Because we don't want to put salt inside, because the salt inside will take out the water as well. Beef patty. But only beef, nothing else in there. 200 grams? Yes. For one burger? For one burger. Oh. Because temperature is a, is a big uh, uh, quality control for when you make beef patty. It's a, since it's grounded beef, it's a danger zone if your beef gets hot. So it has to go fast. You have to be in a cool area. After this, when we grind it, after the grinding, we will do the mixing. Mixing. So the, the mixing of the beef, yeah? As we know, the ground meat need to cook well done. The, uh, ground, the ground meat, actually, uh, you don't need to cook well done, actually. Oh. If it's, if it's uh, uh, no, because we use fresh beef, we don't yes. use trimmings. And then that's the good part also, because we, it's all fresh beef. It's no trimmings, there's no uh, fat trimmings in there, like most of people, you know, when they make burger. They use fat trimmings from yes. other places of beef. So here, actually, if you would uh, eat in-house, we can serve it rare. Oh. But because we send it 
to, 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 to your home and that's usually uh, you know 30 or maybe one hour traveling time so we won't sell it send it to you rare but we can send it medium rare medium I rare is, is, uh, is the basically the best way to send it rare is uh, still a danger zone that it's not uh, cooked enough and because it's traveling a long time and we also don't know if you eat it right away or later so it's not safe to send it outside so we will send it medium medium well so all the factories already medium well it's basically uh, 80 uh, degrees inside or, or not 80 but probably 75 or so so all the bacteria is already there yes and then you have a you can eat it safely medium uh, type uh, grill on it needs to be very tight So a total of 10 kilos of beef, or even more than 10 kilos, we have only that much uh, tomato left, you know, so you can see that the beef is really, really good and tender. We already uh, uh, grind this, then we put it in a, in a bowl. In the bowl we put in the freezer first, so the bowl is really cold. Oh, I see. So then we put everything in there, oui. then we're going to mix it. We oui, share. Yeah, so this is our beef. So of course, uh, then we have to uh, scale and portion it. We oui. 200 gram. So now we can uh, cook the burgers. We can uh, make one uh, cheeseburger, uh, one beef burger uh, together. Yes. So this is actually our, our nice box we're making. So inside the box, so you actually you have your name, you have uh, uh, what type of burger you ordered, and then inside the box we put uh, one uh, salad, romaine lettuce and uh, tomato salad, and then you get some homemade chips and onion rings also. That goes inside the box. Yes. Like that. And then the burger will go in the front and then we close it and we will put a seal on it. And then we have also, what was also in the box, we have a, our burger story basically what we call it. So here you have a, a little card with the different types of burger, the pricing. And then you have also the story about the burger, how we make the burger for you. And though exactly what's inside, so you actually have the, the brioche bun, you have the uh, Wagyu 9 plus burger, you have the sauce, you have the choice between aioli or uh, a classic American sauce and uh, and so on so all this is explained and then we have also a little card here with our uh, appraise uh, uh, catering uh, menu to take away or to deliver at home so all this goes inside the burger box yes just like that all in one all in one and then we're gonna show you how to uh, cook the burger. Okay, so we have our nice uh, uh, freshly baked uh, brioche bun. So the brioche actually is a, is a, a French type of bun made with a, a little bit of butter in there, uh, some egg, and it's actually a, a very light and uh, tasty bun. So this is a, the bun for our beef burger and cheeseburger. So just like a regular burger, you know, we cut it in two, and then we will just slightly uh, grill it. So it's nice and warm when we put the burger inside. And here, my friend Dagon, this is the beef patty we just made before. So we just put a bit salt and pepper. Yes. On both sides. Yes, yes. That's, uh, that's all basically. So we're gonna cook on a plancha. So why are we using a plancha? And uh, uh, actually this is an import plancha. Yes. It's because the heat is very even. Oh. And this has a very thick plate. So yeah, I can put uh, 10 burger on here, on yes. here and the 
meat will still cook very evenly. The heat is strong enough and we won't have one side less cooked or one side more cooked. So that's very important to have a really good uh, plancha. Yes. So why we don't put the, uh, the salad and the tomato inside the burger? Yes. Because some people don't want it. So that's why we put the salad on the side and the tomato on the side. So you can do as you wish at home. If you want to add the salad inside, you can. If you want to eat it on the side, um, you can eat it on the side. So everybody has the flexibility of uh, having his own way. That's why we serve the salad on the side. So my friend Nagum will put the burger on the plancha. So you can hear the sizzle right away. So we want it hot, but not too hot. Yes. Uh, we want it nice and seared, uh, but not black. And it should be actually, when we turn it around, when both, si colors, both sides are nicely colored, the beef should be just cooked. You can see we have a, a little bit color. That's what we're looking for because yes. we don't want it to dry also. So we turn it around another uh, couple minutes and then we put it on aside. So for the cheeseburger, we also make our own cheese mix because our, we actually tried several types of cheeses with the, our Wagyu uh, uh, beef patty. I was never very happy with the taste. Sometimes the cheese was too overpowering. Sometimes the cheese was not uh, tasty enough. So we make a mix between three different types of cheeses. We have some uh, uh, cheddar, we have some uh, emmental, and we have some parmesan. So after a couple of minutes, then we put our uh, uh, cheeseburger with the American sauce bun. See, the patty is still, you know, the same size like before. Still nice and thick. That one is with the aioli. Yes. And same thing. We seal it to make sure you get it nice and fresh at home. Okay. Et voilà. That's the 9 plus uh, Wagyu Amuse burger, ready to deliver to your home. So then the burger also, we do our own delivery. Amuse has, a, we have our uh, waiters, they're not so busy, you know, because of uh, uh, the lockdown. Yes. So <laughs> we have our own delivery box. Uh, this is an isotherm box, so it stays nice and safe in there. Yes. It won't be, uh, uh, you know, even if it rains, it will be uh, uh, nice and uh, safe. And then we, we deliver this box to your home. Yes. We come with that to your home, so everything stays sealed and uh, nice and fresh. Okay guys, jadi sekarang kita udah ada sama Chef Gilles Max, as the chef founder of Amus Gourmet Restaurant. Yes, so basically we showed you how to do the best burger. Yes. And then uh, uh, now we can uh, try it also, yeah? Yes, <laughs> now we will try the burger. Yes. <laughs> Let's try with the beef burger first, yeah? Yes. Before, to make sure, you know, when you receive it at home, it's nice, fresh, it's not been opened. So you can open the box like that. Yes. And then you have the little uh, menu in there, you know what it is, some explanation. And then you have the, the chips and onion rings. Yes. A nice salad, the romaine lettuce with some tomato, and we have also our French dressing in there. Yes. And then we have the burger, the burger. So this is the beef burger. Of course, when you're at home, you just eat the burger like that. Yes. But I just want to cut it in two uh, to show you how, how juicy it actually is, yeah? Yeah. have a, a big knife to cut it in two. So here you can see. You can see how juicy it is, yeah? Oh my God. That's the important part. And like I said, you know, it will be medium well. Yes. That's what we're having. It's a little slightly pink inside, so it's safe uh, to serve at home. And you can see the, bu the bun is nice and soft, but the most important part, you can see the juice inside the beef. Yes. That's uh, what's the important part and what's, what make our burger different than, than any, any other burger. Yes, oh, yeah. I try. And then you just do like, you know, oh. like a normal burger, of course. <laughs> a burger you have to eat with the hands, not the fork and knife. Oui, oui, oui. I know you're a big eater, so I made two for you. Oh my God. thank you. Sir. Okay. Guys, jadi ini benar-benar kesempatan yang sangat luar biasa karena kita nggak cuma nyobain burger 9 plus ini, kita nggak cuma oh my god soft. Ini ini soft banget sih. 
kita nggak cuma nyobain burger ini tapi kita juga diajarin cara masak yang benar diajarin cara nge-green, nge-ground ya, nge-ground daging yes. yang benar juga from dan fresh, we started from the fresh beef yes. you know, until the until end of product the end of product, this is amazing dan benar-benar semuanya juga bisa lihat tadi itu 9 plus beneran selama ini banyak pertanyaan itu beneran 9 plus, beneran 9 plus and I think, uh, you know, I mean, you know us, you know, you worked here yes. you know, when we say something That's the way it is. You got his own choice. I will try the natural beef. Ini 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 lembut banget. Sumpah ini lembut banget. Wah. This is amazing. This is Wah, I can say any more sir. Mm -hmm. A simple thing. It's just about the quality of the produce and that's why I say, I mean, it's always the most important when you choose your produce, that's the most important thing in the beginning. And that will show until the end, of course, if you cook it properly and handle it yes. the proper way, it will show through until the end when you eat it. This is amazing, the taste. I, you need to try this. I mean, it's not really expensive, only 100 something. Yeah, 120. For 100, getting this. Yes level of quality the 100, fine burger 135 for the cheeseburger and that uh, you know that's max sense i think worth it. everybody should at least try once to see the difference yes beneran sih menurut aku sumpah ini ini enggak lebay ini bukan karena aku kerja di amus bukan karena aku belajar sama chef jill tapi ini beneran ya yeah, tom the bun is still puffy it's not crumbled yeah. in or it's not So that's why we bake it every day, you know. So every it makes, day. of course, a different than you know. You take the bun out from freezer, and yes. uh, uh, there's a yeah. big difference. Sumpah ini ini enggak lebay demi Tuhan ini enak banget, juicy, lembut. Itu benar-benar. Aduh, wah, gila sih. This is your uh, cheeseburger, just to show you. It's still, you know, you have the nice and the medium yes. well. It's very juicy. Yes. And uh, that's what we guarantee when you receive it at home. Wow. When we receive the burger at home, how to preheat it? Actually, we recommend uh, not to reheat it. Mm. When we sell it in the box like that, when we send it to your home, yes. even after one half hour, it is still warm. Oh. So you better eat it warm. Because um, if we say tell to reheat, people put it in the microwave and the microwave. Uh, heat some inside out so it will high heat what has the most water content that's yes. the beef because it's very juicy so then it will dry out the beef first mm. before everything else get warm and that we want to avoid yeah okay guys jadi ini benar-benar perpaduan antara brios ban beef patty 9 plus sama saladnya dimakan tuh barengan the sour makes it feel so good So they good. Yes, this is really so, so the you know the vinaigrette is of course is homemade. So that's our experience. You know, I've been chef for uh, yes. for many years. So we uh, you know that's the, the type of things we uh, we know how to make and we know we make very well. Uh, so the salad is guaranteed fresh. The chips will be always crispy. That's why we do also chips and onion ring, and we don't serve French fries. Yes, because when you serve French fries, you know that they're traveling one hour. Of course, this French fries never crispy when you get them. Yes, they're always soggy, you know. And we want to serve a quality a meal to you. Mm. So of course, the chips or French fries should be crispy. We cannot guarantee that the French fries will be crispy when it goes to your home. That's why we make our own chips and then our own onion rings. So you get it exactly the way we want it to you to to receive it. Amazing. Benahan gila. So now you have to try the cheeseburger. Yes, I will try it. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people ask about it. Yes. So it's okay to of course clarify it with you. <laughs> so as we know, most people know the burger is a fast food, or some people say it's a junk food. Yes. So what make it healthy? Burger. Yeah. So basically, what make this burger healthy? Because we only use fresh produce. We make our own bun, so there's no. There's no chemical in there, you know. There's no improver in there. It's just you know, uh, brioche is basically just uh, uh, flour, butter, uh, beignets, yes. uh, some egg, and uh, just a little bit sugar in, in there, but very little because we wanted to be a savory uh, thing. And then we put a bit sesame. That's it. Nothing else in there. The beef fatty you see when we do only yes. beef, 
salt and pepper nothing else there's nothing no else. egg there's no uh, you know what oh. they put the, the usually they put some uh, beef potting to glue it together to hold it together not none of all that the sauce we make home homemade so we know exactly what's in the sauce yes. you know mm -hmm. burger patties you know we make them every day it's not something we make we deep freeze we, we store for six months uh, none of that the buns we bake fresh every day same thing we don't you know we don't make for storing and we freeze it for uh, uh, six yes. months so this is the difference between you know uh, 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 mass market uh, burger and you know what we serve uh, and that's why we can guarantee this is a healthy burger because we know everything what goes in there yes <laughs> and I can hold myself to it more <laughs> mm. okay thank you buat semua yang udah nonton sampai habis ini benar-benar video yang penuh dengan knowledge dan amazing things as we know Chef Gilles is a master friends master chef thank you we are lucky to have you in Indonesia <laughs> hope you will try it thank you this is another thing support for Indonesian team for Bokus Door, door yes, yes we have uh, we putting together the we have together already the Indonesian uh, team for Bokus Door we actually yes. been qualified for the final in Lyon in January uh, so 28 29 uh, January there will be the final in Lyon so we started we will start training actually uh, uh, beginning October so there's two months training and then you know uh, of course going to Lyon all this there's a lot of cost in, involved so we're looking for a little bit uh, support and we have uh, a site on uh, uh, Kitabisa uh, so you can you know uh, help us uh, to get us some uh, uh, support uh, uh, for the Indonesian team so for, yeah of course it's a pride for Indonesia you know yes. to to go to the finals of the Olympic Olympics of uh, cooking there is only uh, 24 countries in the whole world that could oh, go to that final. That's so amazing. you know, for Indonesia to be there is very good. Yes. For more info, or kalau ada yang tertarik tentang mau tahu lebih jauh tentang Bokusdor, entar follow aja IG-nya ada. Yeah. Bokusdor. Bokusdor Indonesia. Ya, yeah, Ina. Ina. Uh, yes. You can follow uh, uh, on Instagram, on, on uh, Facebook, yes. and, and other media as well. So you will know and hope. For the next focus door, we can have more, more candidate. Yes, yes, <laughs> we'll definitely work on uh, to make this a, a very nice competition yes. and uh, uh, try to bring home a trophy. Yes, <laughs> that's the goal. That's the goal. Thank you, and see you guys in my next video. Thank you. Thank you, chef. Thank you, Makasih banyak.